guys, so this video is going to actually be a two-in-one video. I originally had the thought of creating this video to show you how I wash my makeup brushes because I know that a lot of these videos can be very informative. Sorry, my cat is messing with my lamb. I know that these videos can be very informative. Um, of how to wash your brushes if you've never washed your makeup brushes before. And also it's just cool to see different ways that other people wash their brushes. And then like the second kind of video that can really be incorporated into this is a review of the Sonia Kashuk brush and sponge cleaner. Also I really apologize for the poor lighting. It's nighttime and I usually use daylight to film um, because I'm right in front of my window. However, I'm using my lamp to light so one side of me is darker than the other and I hope that doesn't bother you. So in the video I show you how I use this and basically I use it the same way I would use baby shampoo. I do like this product however it's not my favorite. I just will say right off the bat that I don't highly recommend it. However if you like the Ulta brand brush cleaner which I have used before this is a more affordable version. Um, although the Ulta the full size Ulta brand brush cleaner that looks exactly like this is that it says Ulta is only $10 I believe for the bottle last time I checked but um, I have tried the travel size of the Ulta um, cleanser and I did I did like it. It has a funky scent to it which this one does as well and um, on top of that the the liquid is purple same as the Ulta one. Um, it's just a little bit cheaper. Like I said the Ulta brand was like around $10 and this one was 7 at Target. So yeah in this video I not only show you how I wash my makeup brushes but I show you a few ways that I use this cleanser. So if you want to see that then go ahead and keep watching. So we are going to be washing some makeup brushes today and um, I have all of my dirty makeup brushes. I'm not going to be washing all of these um, but my eye brushes are what goes dirty the most. For example you can see my elf small stipple brush is like really pink tinted and um, my crease brushes are like really 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 uh, brown and dirty and nasty. This um, is actually an acrylic uh, like dual case that I got from Walmart. Um, I believe the brand is London Soho New York. It's just an acrylic case. I think I paid around ten dollars for this at Walmart. You want to have your makeup brushes over here is a little small drying rack. If I'm not mistaken, we got it from the dollar store. It's just a drying uh, mat that you put underneath the drying rack when you do dishes, but I like to use it for uh, when I wash my brushes to lay them flat because it is absorbent. And then on top of that, uh, I have my Benjabel brush tree. This I got quite a long time ago, but I'm in love with it. This is the Benjabel daisy tree. I think it's around $20 or $19.95, something like that. And I will link the online store in which I bought this from. There are so many other designs, uh, so if you're the type of person that doesn't use like large face brushes all the time, this is the one that I went for because it has a good um, amount of spaces for all different sizes brushes because I don't use very many face brushes but I use a lot of the smaller eye brushes. This is the Daisy Tree but they have the original and also you can get them in different uh, colors too. This one is in black obviously but you can get them in white or in pink. I just like to sit my uh, brush tree on top of the absorbent mat and I don't know if I said this already but it holds eight eye brushes four medium size uh, brushes and then two large brushes or face brushes. As you can already probably tell, I'm in my kitchen. Um, I'm just using the uh, faucet in my sink to be able to do this just because it's a large area and it's a lot easier. I laid out all of my brushes that I'm going to be washing and this is quite a few. This is actually way overdue all of these brushes that I need to wash. A lot of them are just different sizes. Um, most of them anyway are eye brushes. I think there's only a couple face brushes that I'm washing but yeah. These, I normally wash my makeup brushes, I don't know, once every like two weeks. These should have been washed probably about a month ago. I'm going to turn on the water and I like the temperature to be a little bit more on the warmer side. Uh, you don't really want to wash your brushes in just cold water because it won't kill off any bacteria that may have been uh, going back and forth on your eyes or your face. So I like to make it pretty warm but not too hot that you burn yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I do wash my brushes. I 
also wanted to point out that you don't exactly have to do it the way that I do it. I've tried using this brush cleaner quite a few different ways and I'm going to go over the different ways that you can use it. So what you see me do is I'll spray some in my hand and then I'll take the brush wet it underneath the water and then I'll start swirling it in my hand to get it all foamy. That's kind of the same method that I use when I use baby shampoo. However, if you don't like that idea of squirting it into your hand every time, you can alternatively take a bowl. This is just a small little bowl and uh, you can spray it inside the bowl and get a nice little puddle going on or you could essentially just take the top off and pour it in a little bowl. I know some people do that uh, when they use dish soap and olive oil. They use the dish soap to cleanse the brushes and then they use the olive oil to condition the bristles. Um, again, this is all personal preference, but you could put it in the bowl and then you can take the brush, dip it in the bowl. That way you don't feel like you're wasting any of the brush cleanser by spraying it in your hand. And then the third way that I've done it is take the spritzer and then spray it right on the brush bristles but that's my least favorite way to do it in all honesty because a lot of the time when your hands get really wet and slippery it's really hard to sit there and hold on to the bottle and spray it right onto the uh, brush. And with face brushes, I pretty much do the same thing. As you can see here, I only have two face brushes. This is a travel size um, Sephora Hello... It's, it's like a Hello Kitty Sephora brush. And uh, it has some bronzer on it because I, I used to use this brush to apply bronzer all over my face and whatnot. It's just a travel size brush that came in a little kit. Um, I wash these the same way that I wash my eye brushes. I just kind of dip it into the bowl. As you can see, that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, so I dip it into the bowl. And then I just rub it along my hand. It gets very soapy and frothy, which is exactly what you want. You want to see all that stuff coming apart from the bristles. This brush is so soft, the e.l.f. small stipple brush, and uh, it feels so good. So as you can see, my hand is just getting really dirty. Uh, and you probably can't tell on camera, but it is tinted pink because the bristles are starting to become, I'm sorry, I was out of frame, starting to become white. They are no longer pink. And then rinse it off. And voila, no more pink bristles. So as you can see, I'm done washing all of my brushes and I just have them laying flat right here. I don't try to put them in my Benjabel tree um, immediately after I wash them just because my hands are all wet and I still have more um, brushes to clean. So I just like to get them all clean and then afterwards is when I sit them up in my tree. I'm going to direct it up here to the little tree. There we go. And this is when I group them to decide uh, where I want to put them in here. As you can see, I have a lot of eye uh, ones, but we can't just put one uh, eye brush in each little slot because then obviously I will run out of room for all of the rest of the brushes that I have. So what I try to do is I try to group the very, very small ones together and put them in the little slots together um, so that way they don't uh, take up too much room. And also with my like special brushes, and by special brushes I mean for example this one. This one is my Tokidoki uh, Adios brush and it's just a crease brush. I love this brush a lot and this has a very uh, odd shape. It has a normal brush handle and it's pretty skinny up until you get to the very top and it's got Adios's head and as you can see if I were to try to push it up through here it doesn't fit so what I have to do is I have to put it in one of these but after I get the brush through it starts to tilt as you can see so what I have to do is I have to try and sandwich other brushes in there with it that way it won't tilt and it'll stick straight down if you get what I'm saying also I just wanted to note that I also like to after I'm completely done washing my brushes I like to go through them one by one and rinse them out with water again just to make sure that all the soapy suds 
are completely gone from the bristles because if there's any soap still left uh, over, the residue will obviously stick to the bristles and that's not very good uh, for any of your brushes. So I just like to rinse them thoroughly again after I'm done washing the brushes because when you have a lot of brushes to wash, I'm not saying this is like so many, but it is quite a handful. When you have a lot of brushes to wash and you're trying to get through them quick, you sometimes miss some of the soap that's left in them. So I rinse them off uh, again and I just advise anybody to do that just to double check. Now I've got them in my uh, in different groups on my little absorbent drying mat and I'm going to go ahead and just put them in their correct spots. So as you can see, all of my brushes that I washed today fit perfectly in there, and if I had a few more brushes, I could still group them together. I've got uh, one open space for a medium-sized brush, uh, four open spaces for really small brushes. Again, it doesn't have to fit just one brush. I mean, of course, you don't want to try and jam too many in there and possibly break uh, the, I don't know what material this is, the plastic or uh, anything like that. You just don't want to break it. Um, so don't try and force too many, but if it's really wobbly and it starts to tilt, that's when you know that you can fit at least one or two more brushes in there to make sure that they're stable. But as you can see, they're all sticking straight up. So that way the water will go straight down to the absorbent pa uh, pad underneath. And that way the water won't stay uh, sitting inside the ferrule. And as everybody else says when they do these kinds of videos, um, it's very bad for water water to get into the ferrule of your brush because um, it will start to loosen the glue of your makeup brushes. That is how I wash my makeup brushes and just all in all I do like this. Again like I said in the beginning it's not highly recommended. Baby shampoo works perfectly fine for me and it is cheaper to buy a bottle of baby shampoo than it is to get this but not saying this is a bad product at all. And um, I do think that if you're looking for a spot cleaner, you could spray this on a paper towel like I've seen some people do with the MAC brush cleaner. Overall, it did a really good job of cleaning out my brushes. I didn't notice the residue sticking to my brushes. Um, I like to rinse my brushes twice afterwards just to make sure I get everything out of it anyway, but I didn't notice it not getting anything out. Um, it worked with my Real Techniques Fine Liner brush, and when you know that when gel liner gets caked into your brushes, most of the time you have to break it up with a lot of people say use olive oil and that works too um, because it also conditions your bristles however this worked perfectly fine just spray it in your hand or dip it in a bowl and um, it broke up the uh, particles perfectly fine and I didn't notice any residue at all as you can probably tell it's got that white tip still anyway so no more brown liners caked up on it so thank you for watching this video I really appreciate it and I'll see you again in my next video bye